Today, dozens of migrants marched across the border from Juarez to El Paso demanding to be let in. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan. Natasia has the night off. The situation escalated with Border Patrol saying agents were injured and pepper balls were fired at the migrants. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from the U.S.-Mexico border with our top story tonight at 10. Shelby. Earlier today, U.S. Customs and Border Protection says that migrants, Venezuelan nationals, attempted to cross the border illegally, saying that they were protesting. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says that a protester assaulted a Border Patrol agent with a flagpole. Go ahead and take a look at this video. Here you can see the group of migrants marching, carrying flags, including a gigantic American flag that read, We the Migrants that Built America. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says after after an agent was assaulted with a flagpole, agents initiated crowd control measures, sending us a statement that reads in part, quote, these measures included the use of the authorized less lethal force pepper ball launching system. The crowd then dispersed and returned to Mexico. We don't know what are the codes or the protocols that they use in the border, and they fired those guns against us, and there were two people from Honduras who reacted and threw stones at them. Now, as we have reported, migrants have set up a tent camp across the Rio Grande after Venezuelans began being expelled under Title 42. And that man that you just heard with is at that tent camp across the Rio Grande there in Mexico. Now, Congresswoman Veronica Escobar also sending a statement saying that she is concerned about the safety of everyone in the area. Andy, back to you. Shelby Border Patrol is saying that this was Venezuelans, but I also saw a lot of different flags in that video that you show, not just the American flag or the Venezuelan fa uh, flag. What have you gathered through this? Yeah, well, Andy, we did see a Mexican flag in the mix and a flag from Honduras. Actually, one man that our crew spoke with was holding a flag from Honduras. And of course, that gigantic American flag that we saw and in that video, we actually saw those migrants folding up that American flag and carrying it across the river to the American side. Yeah, quite the scene there at the Rio Grande. Shelby Cap is reporting tonight live from the U.S.-Mexico border. Shelby, thank you. Switch